Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, second week of December reading start from the 8th through the 14th of December 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading. I will be adding message cards as well but no charms will be added. So stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always, uh, always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. So, yeah. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So, yep. You can check the link to that in the description box. And now, uh, let's dive into the reading and let's find out what is heading towards you guys for this week time. Let's begin. The World, Two of Cups, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. And one last card is Wands. Wow. I do see you very stressed around uh, your love life situation right now. Um, hold on. I need the deck. We do have Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I do see you very stressed right now when it comes to your love life situation. You are feeling lost. You are feeling unhappy. Um, I feel like, you know, you started up the time of this uh, week with a lot happening from, um, from, um, from family to your love life to your work life there has been a lot of shifts happening for you and i feel like you know the more you um you know continue moving forward you would be wishing and hoping that wish i had my person in my life wish i had everything fixed in my love life because that that need to have somebody is uh, is going to be getting more and more uh the need to be with your specific someone is going to get more and more so you are going to feel um unhappy because i feel like you know for some reasons whatever that is getting chaotic in your life right now it is something that you left um uh, your person for so since you left your person also for the same reason and it's like now it's um you realize that you you wasted your time doing whatever it is that you did and now you you are looking back to the times that you are uh, you know push your person away because you would like to have this person back in your life you would like to talk to that person again you are unable to sleep um actually that's gonna be that's gonna be happening for for majority of you this week time because i do see you very unhappy right now the energies could be reversed it could be the energy of the person that you are dealing with if they left you for something else uh work family or uh, you know the person they are not happy it can be you also like you know it can be your energy where you are unhappy because you have given a lot to other people other other situations but when it comes to your specific someone that you loved you never gave uh the much needed attention to that one person is what i'm picking up for some of you you always uh became very selfless uh for for when it comes to your family friends and everybody you would take care of them and their needs when it comes to yourself you always neglected yourself and that's why you are going to be feeling really stuck and stagnant right now in your life during this week time because you are going to miss the person that you loved you're going to be uh you know um regretting the decision of letting that person go because of your family or your work what whatever it was now you are regretting that decision of yours and now uh, you would be thinking of this person a lot you are going to feel like you know you are left alone you know whatever that you wanted you got it all but yes you lost the person who loved you so dearly and um you would like to have a reconciliation with that person you would like to go back to that same person because you love that person and you feel like for some of you maybe this person has blocked you uh for others of you uh maybe you have blocked them if you were the one who left them in the past for for your family or somebody else so um it's like maybe you are unblocking them checking them out on social media and stuff like that if that has you know done by you to them i feel like you know you are going to be like um this week is going to be tough emotionally because there is going to be a lot happening let me see one card for the world here i feel like you, know, you will need to be with your person this week more than anything else right now um let's take some clarify for all these cards here for some of you you might have succeeded in achieving your work goals your family goals whatever you were you know investing your time and energy into now you got that all but now again the one thing that is missing is your love life you want that happiness you want that 
uh, you know, one person in your life. So for some of you, you might have failed in whatever it was that you are investing your time and energy into. And for others of you, you are going to be successful with that. And now you want to pursue the person again. You want to choose them over anything else right now. But I don't think that they are, you know, somebody you are in touch with. Even though they are your happiness and everything, but you will have to make a move toward this person because this person is not going to be reaching out to you. So I feel like, you know, you might be deciding about this person during this week time. Shall I reach out to them? Or, uh, you know, uh, would they accept you or not? Because you feel that now you are prepared, but you wonder, would they be prepared this time around or not? Uh, would they hold themselves back or not? So I, I do see that you will be having your questions, your fears around the situation here uh, when it comes to this person in your life, your love life, and, uh, uh, you know, currently. And um, that's going to be the focus for you for this week time. Um, let's see your cards, and then we're going to take some, uh, you know, messages from the person that you're dealing with as well. <clears throat> actions speak uh, loudly express your love through actions if you really want to reconcile with this person show them the true uh, you know uh, emotions that you have for them and they will listen to you and they will uh, accept you back and uh, let them feel the love that you have for them let them feel how badly you miss them um, and why you know just just speak your heart out to this person with with the actions prove them that you are worthy of a second chance they will accept you. Enjoy, uh, son. Uh, enjoy success and happiness. You will get the success in this area of your life as well. Just, um, just, uh, you know, talk your heart out to this person. Show them that yes, you deserve them now. Whatever the reason was why you, you know, left them in the past for something else, you are not going to do that again to them. So just let them know that as well. Um, bring love into the situation. The Aquarius time is going to be significant for you as well. Uh, you know, regarding this connection. Um, step out of your comfort zone as well so whatever it is that uh, you know that you feel that maybe uh, you, whatever it is that makes you fearful like you know shall I do this or shall I not don't listen to shall I shall I not just go for it you know with all your heart into it and you will get the positive response and um, just don't overthink you know why you know would they do this would they do that um, would they treat you bad? Would they make you feel bad? Would they, you know, what if they accept it? What if they, you know, um, were waiting for you? So just think positively before you reach out. Spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. I feel like, you know, this is the right time for you to reach out to this person and express your love through actions. Um, let's see the message cards. Let's see what it has to add to the reading for you guys. Okay, let's take one more card let's take two cards from this also let's see what it has to add to the reading okay let's read these cards first i'm really disappointed in you they are going to say that to you because maybe you left them in the past because of your you know situation um i think about you all the time but they do think about you all the time I love you to the moon and back, but they do love you to the moon and back. So they would be happy if you are going to go back to them. Um, they would be disappointed in you for what whatever happened between the two of you. The energies could be reversed for some of you as well. Just be mindful of that. Create your own sunshine. Aries Gemini could be the sign of the person that you are dealing with. Meditate on Friday. So tomorrow I think is Friday. Yep. If if you if you want, you can meditate on Friday. And maybe then you can reach out to the person that you want to reach out. Um, you drive me wild and crazy. This person does make you wild and uh, make you, uh, you know, drive you wild and crazy. Self worth and self confidence. Um, you need to have self worth and self confidence. So does the cross watcher because that's the that's how you get magnetically attracted to each other. So just work on the things that uh, these cards suggested. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonated with you, do like, share and subscribe. And till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.